All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is JH. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry today? Yes, indeed. Jay's feeling iry because that's kind of what I am, a, just an iry kind of guy. Listen, uh, the video that I posted yesterday, or whenever you're watching this, with the uh, gentleman that was here at the post office working 65 years. I think y'all did not see the correlation between the title and the man working here. Cause So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down. He's still here. Post office is still here. He's still here and the post office is still here. He's 90 years old. Do you think he hasn't seen change within the last 90 years? He's here 65 years. How many postmaster generals has this man gone through? Post office is still here. For those that think this is a sinking ship, check yourself. Because that man went through all of the ups and downs at the post office. You're just experiencing it now. Hold on for the ride. Or you can jump ship like a lot of people have done and go over to UPS. And in the comments, we've had plenty of discussions about people going over to UPS. But here's the fun fact. I've told people years ago, we're still going to be there. Jay, do you still believe that? I still believe that. You know why? I'll tell you why. In an investor's presentation held Tuesday in Louisville, Kentucky. Top executives of the UPS announced plans to shutter 200 facilities in the United States and lay off thousands of workers as part of their plans for the network of the future. This article was posted on March 27th, 2024. So it's not an old article. While previous layoffs have already been reported extensively, this is the first time UPS has issued its comprehensive nationwide plan to slash jobs. I want y'all to follow this because once you start listening, you're going to be like, this sounds exactly like what we're going through here at USPS. Almost identical. Trust me. Keep listening. Yes, executives estimated the company would save three billion by the end of 2028 by consolidating facilities and implementing automation at the remaining hubs. Earlier this year, which I did do an article about, UPS announced it would be laying off 12,000 salaried employees. This was y'all said no, those management. <laughs> This was quickly followed by mass layoffs of preloaders at facilities across the United States, including New York and California. For those of you that said, no, there's just management. They got the Teamsters. We'll get to the Teamsters in a minute. Ongoing jobs bloodbath at UPS is a part of a wave of layoffs at the company in virtually every industry across the globe. Cuts are being enabled through a collaboration of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, which rammed through a sellout contract last summer by deliberately concealing that they that these cuts were coming. So what they're saying is, I mean, I bigged them up too. I said the Teamsters are doing their thug dizzle. Transparency. What they're saying is they pushed it too through fast and then they did not tell everybody that job cuts was part of the reason that they got these boosts of pay the way they did. They said, okay, yeah, we'll pay you a little bit extra. But on the back end, we're going to be cutting a lot of people. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. 
All right. Tuesday's presentation underscores the urgent need for workers to take matters into their own hands, organize a rebellion against both management and the sellout artists in the union bureaucracy. I don't like the way this was worded. It also fully confirms warnings made at the start of the year by UPS workers rank and file committee that new technology are being rolled out and can eliminate almost all of the work inside the warehouses. The jobs of nearly 200,000 part timers at UPS are at risk. That statement called for a counter campaign by workers to defeat the attack on the jobs. They outlined 63 sites in the U.S. that will be targeted for automation by the end of 2028. Consolidated. You know, I, I'm looking at the map itself. And the ones in the areas that they look like they're consolidating, if you actually put them side by side with the map of where the consolidations are going for us where we work it's almost identical it tells you where the automation and consolidation projects are replace build new and expand capacity all right uh here he goes in his slide presentation president of the u.s domestic operations at ups emphasized that the network of the future would bring new automation and technology tools to material to materially improve productivity. This highly productive network will operate with a less dependency on labor. A slide in uh, presenting uh, another of his slides titled "Actions We Are Taking Right Now to Increase Operating Margin," listed as building and sort closures as the top item. They confirm they will be closing 40 sorting centers this year, up from 30 in 2023. But he stressed that every single work area is being scrutinized for automation opportunities, not just the sortation hubs. In his presentation, Chief Digital and Technology Officer for UPS highlighted strategic bets that the company was taking a boost profits taking to boost profits, artificial intelligence, gen AI, robotics and automation were top items listed. Executives did not place an exact figure on the number of layoffs, but in an interview with Bloomberg Television following the presentation, the company confirmed they planned to boost profits by raising prices, including a 5.9% general rate increase this year and automation. Asked by Bloomberg host to elaborate, elaborate on the layoffs coming and what more should investors expect. We have got to right size our business. So we did make some decisions to do just that under our operating model to fit and serve. Moving past though, is very exciting opportunity that we have to drive out costs through automation. Did you know we have over 1,000 buildings in the United States and many of these buildings were built 50 to 60 years ago? This stuff starting to sound familiar. As we looked at the buildings, we said, my gosh, we have an opportunity actually to consolidate buildings that aren't automated into brand new automated buildings and drive productivity. By the end of the initial phase, US, UPS would have 400 buildings that are fully automated. And with end-to-end -end automation, we don't need as many people to move packages inside the buildings that we have today. Look, I can go on and on with this article, but I'm hoping you all that have followed me for um, a while can see what this is all talking about. This is all self-explanatory. Company is going to collapse. This company is going to collapse some buildings that we don't need any longer into larger, more automated buildings. This sound, I'm telling you, this all sounds like the roadmap that DeJoy is using. But now they're using it after DeJoy. We will invest to make this happen. We will invest about $9 billion over five years. Five years. But in that five-year time frame, we will enjoy $3 billion in savings, of which 50% will be recognized within the first three years. I mean, I can go on and on and 200 facilities in the next four years. How many jobs will be cut? Look, my opinion isn't worth a damn. But when we speak about this stuff for the last two years, 
year and a half. And I'm telling you piece by piece what they're doing with the buildings, with the new S and DCs and RPDCs and all this other foolishness that we've been talking about with automation. And I got videos talking about the robots are coming and taking over and people like, oh, just scare tactics. No need to think it's scare tactics anymore. It's time to really wake up and see that this is the way of the future. And again, as I see people that write in the comments, should I quit? I really don't think you should quit. I just think you need to be more informed on what's going on and how to flow with this process. Like I said in the beginning of this video, the gentleman that has been here for 65 years has seen the rise and fall and rise and fall and rise and fall and different changes between hand sorted mail. Just think about all that, all that DPS. This is all hand sorted before, before robots. And here we are today. Hold on for the ride. But just know it is not always better on the other side. It's not. Everybody, y'all got to stop. I, I, I read some articles about, I hate to use the, 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 the age analysis, but the younger generation versus the older generation and the middle generations. And the younger generations, they are have they're almost being discriminated against because a lot of major companies won't hire younger people because of the work ethic. This I forgot what article it was, but I get a bunch of articles that pop up. So they're having trouble finding real jobs because of their own work ethics, which is not just something that I just throw out there and just talk about, but because I'm nobody. But when larger companies see them, th they collect the stats, the statistics and say, yeah, they're not worth it. And then you have the people say, well, they need to pay us more. And they say, well, why pay you more when you do less work? You're not really willing to work. You don't come to work on time. It's it's this is not just for young people, but this is what it's targeted at. And then they have discrimination against the older generation as well, like Amazon. Got to be careful what I say, but they do. It's very rare you see them hire older people. Like if I applied to be a, a, a carrier for Amazon and drive, you know, their trucks, they would look at the age. They would. And I'm, I probably wouldn't get the job because of my age. Although I could run circles around them, they're, they're discriminating in certain areas. And then they want the middle-aged people, but the middle-aged people are like, yeah, nah, man, I've worked to get to where we're at. Nonetheless, listen, take this for what it's worth. Hold on for the ride. Don't sit there and knock UPS saying, oh, you know, those guys suck. Or don't envy, saying, oh, those guys are great. I thought their union was doing a great job, but apparently there was some undermined and underhanded deals. You have a scenario like that, saying that it was rushed through. I'm starting to think that maybe, I'm not siding with this dude, just understand that. Maybe it's better that it takes a little bit longer to get the contract when you know that all the goodies have to be negotiated. But I also think that they need to be more transparent with what's going on because I thought that Teamsters were being transparent, but apparently according to the contract, they exchanged, hey, you can lay off the part-time workers. In our case, that would be the people that were there for less than the PSEs clerks and PSC truck drivers. I don't even know if we still have those or the CCAs. They would be able to lay those off in order to get a higher pay rate. So what is it? You know, you got to weigh it out and see what's better. It's it's an interesting talking point and an interesting, 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 interesting conversation piece. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It is really early in the morning. I'm recording this because, you know, my friend from the West Coast sent this to me. Appreciate it, bro. And I was like, wow, this is this is good. This is uh, interesting because it just piggybacks off of what we spoke about two months ago. So, yeah, you guys uh, got a lot of thinking to do. All right. Here's JH. I'm out. Unexpected expenses stressing you out. 
Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.